This particular activity is designed for English as a foreign language students and English as a second language students. You will need paper and pen for your students as well as a whiteboard or a blackboard or a stick and some sand and then you should be good to go. This activity typically takes around five to ten minutes. It's good for a warm-up or a cool-down activity after before your main lesson okay so what I typically do to begin this activity is I will write on the board a equals 1 and then I will write B equals 2 and then C equals 3 and then so on and so forth all the way down until Z equals 26 the students are curious to know why I am doing this on the board but I usually don't explain anything at this point. I just let the students observe this curious behavior. Then afterwards I take a note. Uh, so sometimes it could be on my hand if I don't have any paper, but whatever you have at your disposal is fine. I take out a note or my hand and I write down a special code that makes a sentence. So for example, you know, if we're using just the, the, the letters ABC, cab would be spelled 312. That would be the, let, the word cab. So I'll typically write a whole sentence out in numbers with this particular code, and then I will have the students solve the code. And then once they figure out what the code is, I have a student read the code, uh, the English sentence. It could be something as simple as, I have a cat, I have a dog, I have been to Mexico. It could be any kind of sentence that the students have been going over. And what I like about this activity is that it challenges students to remember the alphabet and to uh, challenge the students to not only recall the alphabet, to, but to apply it in this particular activity. And to extend this activity further, you can also have the students make their own codes up and also their own kind of patterns as well. You don't necessarily have to have A equal 1, but maybe A equals 2, and maybe B equals 4, and then C equals 6. So you can have the students make up their own certain code and then make, a, make it a whole class activity to decode the sentence, as it were. So this is really a good game for beginner English students, but it could also be used as a fun activity for intermediate English students or even language students who are just kind of needing to take a break from rigorous language acquisition activities. So this is one of those activities that can be expanded into something really difficult or can be condensed to something really easy and it applies to many different classes. And it could work for small classes or large classes. So this is a very, very dynamic and flexible activity that you can apply to your classes. Bye for now.